No, just like going through this this year that we've gone through, and obviously you um you be, the practice that you do. How do you keep yourself like f- riding this wave and, and kind of flowing <laughs> through the waves of the of life right now? Man, exactly what this song says. It's all yeah. in the cards. Like I found myself the last like week and a half or two um, not looking at my spreads for the week and not like okay. kind of moving day by day and dissecting the energy and I felt lost. Mm-hmm. Um, not, I won't say lost, I just felt like, what am I doing? What should I be doing today? I could be doing something today, what is it? And so it was just, for my mind, it was just unfocused. Mm-hmm. Um, and some days I could feel like, okay, this energy is this. So, you know, there's there's flexibility in it in terms of just kind of feeling more of the energy of the day. Mm-hmm. but. But somebody who has a king of spades, which is like the <laughs> the uh, perfectionist or the procrastinator, you know, because of perfectionism, it's like the cards keep me focused on um, focused on the day, focused yeah. on you know those small details to get to the bigger goals. So <laughs> definitely that, definitely prayer and meditation. Mm. And, ritual with my, my spiritual peoples nice and i think that that's the whole key thing because spirit moves through us in everything we do so when you were making that song what particular what was the experience particularly happening that made that spirit move through you and make that happen mm, i will say that it started i think we got that beat in like december mm. and so i was sick i have um sickle cell and we're approaching sickle cell awareness month so Mm -hmm. there's that but in december i think everybody had coronavirus in oakland (laughs) and it just activated my sickle cell in a a way that just had me out wow but i find that um a lot of times spirit will sit me down just so things can download in upload and just like really resonate and recalibrate so that beat came around that time and my husband saw that i was like knee deep in the cards i'm like yeah yeah you know <laughs> like this and so he's like yeah you should make a song about the cards so mm. the initial idea didn't start with me wow but it started with he's my mars card so that activation you know even in terms of how i got back into music was that mars activation yeah. Um, which everybody is in right now, uh, Mars being in Aries. So um, that was it. It started kind of like with a with the hook. And I was just like, ooh, I like this idea. I'm around with this. You know, yeah. at first it was like, okay, a song about the cards. And then I was like, nah, this beat. Yeah, beat is and... hard. <laughs> <laughs> is that you singing too? No, that's um, okay. the, the, my homeboy on the guitar. Wow. Yeah, he's singing the, um, I do the first hook and then he does the chorus and then he does the um, the middle, the middle um, hook right there, bridge. Right yeah. There. And how you start it is just right. Like how you start, this is a really good song. And I think it, what it encompasses is us paying attention, us, activating ourselves like you said activating activation but it's 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 more of a sense it's like it's this is almost like it's, like, it's, it's it feels to me like one of those ritual songs like a different essence because even when you hear the chorus and the hook of it it gets you back thinking it's like a reset so mm-hmm. did you feel that when you finished recording it did you feel a reset oh yeah okay oh yeah i was yeah. like i'm ready for this to be out today <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but that didn't happen. Even when I wanted to release it, it released a whole month later. Wow. And so just being okay with that, <laughs> you know, that was that was the thing. Yeah. Um, but it came out, you know, at the right time, on the right, which is so interesting. I'm thinking now, like today I have a seven of clubs day. Mm. Um, I released the song on a seven of clubs day. In wow. May, on the 25th. So um, 
you know, us not being able to connect those other times, it's like yeah. it always happens in divine alignment. Yeah. You know, so yeah, it apps I was I was impressed. I was like, Well, okay. I had to take the song to the graveyard, you know, mm-hmm. I had to ask for permission from my uh, my elders to Wow to say, hey, this is it. You know, this is what I came up with. Um, Cause it's a long story behind that, but yeah. it's what I came up with. Like, let them listen to it. And it was like, hey, was man, crazy. no, that is divine timing. Um, Can you briefly speak on the seven of clubs and what that, what that power influences and what, what, what that kind of represents? Oh yeah. Um, seven of clubs is seven is a spiritual number the clubs is a mental so you have like in essence one foot in the spiritual world one in the material world or the Mm -hmm. mundane world and so this person has to make sure that there or this energy has to make sure it's grounded in spirit and then you also want to be very particular on what you speak um, because with this energy, stuff travels very far, hmm. you know, um, it travels very far. This is like the power of your a- awful shay, you know, the power hmm. of your word. It literally manifests. Hmm. Um, so being very careful with your tongue, because if you gossiping and doing stuff like that, that type of energy will continue to manifest around. Ooh. So this is a, a great manifest, manifesting energy. Wow. How did um woo, how did how did how did your spirit and uh cardiology and, and numerology, how did all that kind of begin? Was that like a whole life practice with something you grew up on? Was it something that uh, awakening that happened? I will say there's an awakening. <laughs> right, but right. There it was. was it was not a a life practice i'm sorry i got some no problem calling yeah, in i don't want you i don't want you your vision All to be right. blurry well now i gotta you gotta get right you gotta, it's, it's, yeah it's, i'm like it's something trying to, clubs, yeah something clubs. trying to uh trying to hinder or i don't know the divine time it could be something for you to have for you to kind of ponder on that thought real quick i am because the seven of clubs i was just talking about the seven of clubs it has right. seven of spades and saturn so hmm. this, you know, vision deals with the seven of spades. So I'm having a moment right there. But, and I was, Saturn is the ancestor. So I was going to take it there. Um, and they're like, you better take it there. So, <laughs> um, this came about when I was um, very, you know, it's in terms of cardiology and numerology, like that has not been a lifelong thing. I've always been interested in astrology and astronomy, um, but never to the point where I fully just dove in, Hmm. you know? So this was literally maybe three years ago, I had a whole experience because I was trying to find out more about my ancestors Hmm. and I wasn't getting anywhere. (laughs) And so it wasn't until my daughter had a, like literally the next month, she had a project um, about ancestors, a family tree. And so they had to create a family tree. So we did like a 3D version and um, it, it just set off new activations for, for people to, to um, really dive um, deeper into finding out names and stuff. So anyway, keep going. We finding out more names, more names. Say, so, um, my dad and his girlfriend come over, and she's like really into you know names that she could find. Like she found so many, and so she came over, and then the next day she texts me, "Oh, here's two more names," oh, wow. and I was like, "Oh, okay," and I'm. Again, I was laid out because <laughs> Spirit sat me down and I read the names. The first one was um, my great, great, great grandfather. Mm-hmm. There may be another great there. And then his wife. So I read his name. I was like, 
Okay, then I read her name and my whole body. Wow. <laughs> like the vibrations. All the way down. Yeah. It vibrated all the way down. And I was like, oh, what was okay, what did I just do? What just happened? So I'm like, okay, I read his name. Nothing. I read her name. And again, not as strong, but just letting me know, like, okay, confirmation that wasn't just, you know, some pain medication. Here. Right. No, no, no. You know, so she began talking to me. It was my, you know, great, great, great grandmother on my paternal side. And she was basically like, y'all took long enough. <laughs> like, I thought it was going to be a dad, but, you know. I've been waiting for y'all and so yeah. I just started talking to her and I've always had a a inclination that I would you know be a medium of some sort and do some type of psychic things and would watch folks like on TV and be like man I wish I could do that and so I for some reason that popped in my head at that time and so I'm asking her about psychic abilities mm. and she's like oh yeah yeah I'm gonna show you you know, so that's, I will say it started around there, but even my card is a four diamonds. So it is spiritual money. You know, this created a whole avenue of, of money for me. Right, um, right. That, I mean, I wasn't necessarily expecting, I was just drawn to the cards and it was just right. like, oh yeah, you can be a coach. Oh yeah, you can. Okay, now we're gonna set up this show for you and allow you know nice. people who you normally wouldn't have contact with to come on and they right. agree to do it right you know so it is all in the cards yeah it wow. is all in the cards let wow. me say that clearly because i've been trying to catch clips of it and it's all in the cards mm, mm. and i love that you said divine alignment um that's one thing I definitely believe in. Everything is just right. Like it's perfect timing, no matter how it may feel, but the essence of what's happening and the lesson that has to be learned is just right. From you knowing what you knew then when you made the song to knowing what you know now, you've obviously evolved. How, what's that evolution been looking like for you from when you, once you finished that song to now? Hmm. Wow. You know, it's only been a couple of months, but I right. tell you. <laughs> yeah, talk about it. <laughs> it's been a lot. Like I feel, even though I feel like time is like zooming by, like mm -hmm. August is done. Mm -hmm. We have a few days left and, but it's still moving slow. <laughs> Maybe mm -hmm. because I'm in a six week, but since I finished the song, is when I started my show, Lounge 1111. So I finished it in March and I was like, we got a month to, you know, shoot the video, you know, get the song and the cue to, you know, be on all the platforms and stuff. Mm -hmm. But like I said, that didn't happen. You know, um, it happened after I started my show and I started my show on a nine of clubs day. And I was just feeling like the urge to talk and talk in front of people, which I'm a Gemini. It would seem logical to some, but for me, I'm like, alive? Oh, no, nah. <laughs> I'm good. Cool. Like, no, I just post. I'm just, you know, like, I just post. Yeah. Um, I post a video and make sure everything is right and you know stuff like that, but not not super into that. But um, so I, 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 I came online at first. I was trying to get my husband. He was like, nah, no, I'm cool. <laughs> and then so I was talking to my sis, and I'm like, we should do a live. You know, mm -hmm. talk about motherhood and you know that kind of stuff. And then it was just like, oh wow, that was cool. And so I was like, my husband was like, you should make it a show. And I was like, okay. So I got my other homegirl, she came on and like, she was, you know, doing some things, shouting some stuff out. And I'm like, wow, I appreciate how she was doing that because I'm just like, okay, I'll do it. You know, I'll follow along. But so, you know, she took it up another level. And then my teacher, 
you know, my master teacher, she came on the next show and it was just like, okay, this is a show. <laughs> like, so I had to die, you know, I dove in a little bit deeper with some things, connecting the cards with her. And it was like, from there, blue pill, red pill, Tatiana, Tevro, and it's, it's just been rolling. Wow. It's just wow. Been rolling. Wow. Well, um, it's, it's, it's amazing to hear all this. It's amazing to learn new information that, and, and to stay connected because you're still you're still giving out knowledge. You're still giving out information on your Instagram. Right. And yeah. do you have any other platforms, too, or is it just that right now? Instagram, um, hmm. you know, I started to post the videos like the lounges on YouTube, but okay. Instagram flipped the thing and sent everything to IGTV and I was like, I'll just keep it there. Yeah. Um, so there have been ideas in terms of how to expand. Um, that is still in the works and I really want to take it to a new level. Okay. Um, a, a very, a very much so larger platform. Um, I see is coming it's taking time yeah. um but i've been introduced to some people speaking of that seven of spades you know you that particular energy in human form that i'm connecting with to really broaden lounge 11 mm. and the cards yeah um to new heights new levels i feel like it's really a healing tool people get attracted into it because it's like okay wow i've had a lot of just breakthroughs or things spirit told me to talk about and they were like wow i didn't yeah. i've never shared that or yeah. this is that and it's just like you know so mind-blowing what people get to see that live and i think that that's so important. I know it was so important for me just to see transformation. Like I wrote a whole mm. blog on how, um, what was it called? Pimp My Ride. You know, when that whole kind of TV series started to come out yeah. and led, you know, opened up to like house hunters and um, home repair, people watching people do that, like that transformation um, always intrigued me. And I didn't really see it as that then. I was just like, wow, they take that hunk of junk mm -hmm. and turn it and flip it into something else. Like, I like that. Mm. You know? And so um, I You're think this something. is, yeah, this is, my, this is my offering of not necessarily turning a hunk of junk into something, right. but to see people have different breakthroughs and share stuff that normally people wouldn't ask about you know because spirit is telling me something or a particular card is sharing something um you know so that's my offering in that way i love it um i want to take it to wow. a larger platform for sure hey well this it's gonna happen i can already you put it and you already put it in the atmosphere we're calling it its name lounge Eleven Eleven. so it has no choice but to happen now especially with the intentions you have behind it so <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, quickly, um, did you have anything else you wanted to shout out? Um, the the music, I love it. I can't wait to hear more music. Is this part of a project that you're working on too? You know, I started off the year with Destiny. Yes. And <clears throat> yeah, so this is the second song. It's not quite a full album yet, but it's unfolding. Um, I do have some new music coming. Um, yeah, I don't have any you don't, dates. You don't, you don't have to expose it yet. Don't expose mm, it. Yeah. yeah it's, don't, don't, don't it's, expose it. There's no dates that I'm releasing okay. yet. I will say that um, just doing some collaborations for Sickle Cell Awareness Month mm. next month. I have, um, I start off September with a sharing, you know, my platform, Lounge 1111, with a big, um, a big company, I will say. Okay. Um, she she was just in the news with or in a video with Jay Z. So I have to. Um, when okay, are you we, hearing this? We're going. Uh, uh, you know what? I was going to post it next week, but. Uh, yeah. So I'll share with you. I'm, okay. I'll okay. Yeah. It'll be next week. 
<laughs> I'll be interviewing the honeypot. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, so, ooh, okay. Um, this even though that's kind of geared towards women and yeah, uh, no, what that's she still... offers, but you know, that's a huge platform, that and I just give thanks for her saying yes. Yes. You know, and just that whole transformation. You know. Yeah. What that entails, you know, from having what you would call a feminine issue to now being a multi, <laughs> you know, this, this, and that company. That's that's huge. That's huge. Yes. And that's a a huge um signifier in this new decade and what we are capable of doing, especially as black people, black community, black family leadership. Um and uh commerce wow. right right wow um that's gonna be exciting when is when is that so i know to be able to tune in that is september no look, september. Yeah, we, gotta, we gotta we gotta mark that down so i gotta keep a calendar because yeah no I, the fifth, okay september, <laughs> september 5th okay 5th. Yep, it's a six of diamonds day, which makes sense. I'm talking about it now because I'm in a six of diamonds week. So um, it's all in the cards, y'all. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> love it. You gotta love it when you when you letting the spirit just take control. So wow, wow. So I definitely yeah, I'm gonna hold off on this one then. So uh, this will be posted once you um, right when you about to do your interview, or do you want to you know the day of? your interview it doesn't have to be the day okay yeah. okay cool because um, cool. i'll i'll post something probably tuesday or wednesday about okay it. okay cool whatever well, you whenever you are inclined to do so matter of fact post it on um post it on first okay cool cool that's, cool that's tuesday yeah um that's a ten of diamonds day so nice that's that's some some hot energy right there. Okay, well, I will. It will be posted Tuesday. Ah, man, I, this is exciting. I love always being able to meet other souls that are following their passions, but more importantly, just listening to the spirit. So, thank you. Ashe, indeed, it's it's a beautiful thing. Sometimes it can yeah. be hard. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but when For you sure. listen, yeah, you know, it's it's you just rolling with it. Just For sure. With For it. sure. Where's For your sure. birthday? Uh, mine is April the seventh, nineteen ninety-three. So, uh, good old, good old, good old Aries right here. April so, seventh, huh? Yeah, yeah. So, well, I don't know what that entails on the in the cards, you know. But I've done uh, some research on my own, as far as the different numerology and uh, in the oh, star. Like life path number. Yeah, 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 definitely, 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 definitely. Look, so. I just started interviewing you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's, it's, I feel like it's, 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 I feel like it's, it has to happen like that sometimes, you know? You got to know who you're on the other line with. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so forgive me you know. for looking down, but I'm about no, to... No, do it. Nah, I love it. I love it, I love it. Of course, of course, of course, of course. Okay, so... This is the card that I've been seeing today. Hmm. This is the card that is actually my transformation for this year. Wow. So please post it on that tenant. Okay. <laughs> All right. Definitely. Well, um, okay. Cool. You'll get cool. some good views on it. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, I won't say it's because of me. I'll say it's the energy. It's the energy. The ancestors. Yes. You know, that's the ancestor number, but it's also a, a card of abundance and light and celebrity and Jupiter transformation and expansion. Yeah. So all that to say is you are an ace of spade. Oh wow. Thank this you. Transformation this month this wow. year. So well I appreciate the energies. It's beautiful. Let's stay connected. Um and speaking of I know you already um aware of just Saturn and Jupiter aligning this year. So um more than more yeah yeah more more to come yes <laughs> more, to, more, come, to, more come. to come yeah and um it's it's ancestors knocking stuff down you Whew, know? Talk about it's it. like snap out of it you know yeah we have to. especially as we were in jupiter in terms of the united states we were in jupiter in the jupiter position last year so we was mm. like corona what <laughs> 
you know, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And then we stepped into Mars for their new, the United States new solar year. So mm. this is a lot more aggressive and assertive energy, as you know, being in Aries. Um, yeah. You know, this is this is a different energy. In Jupiter, you can be a little aloof. Um, huh. You can be very expansive too. A lot of people made a lot of money. Um, uh, Derek Grace is just popping in my head hmm. right now. But a lot of people, um, a lot of healers and people with knowledge to really transform our communities right. are stepping up and really showing out. You know, so yeah. that's that's a sign. You know, to get into that intuitive healer speaking bag. You know, right, right, yeah. right. So it uh, it is Saturn is you know it's like hey, yeah, what's up? You know this is yeah. your, this is like that grandparent energy. Mm, you know, wow. to where they trying to teach you some. You know, you better. You better wow, listen. you don't know you right. You don't even know the levels you just spoke on saying that. Wow, but that's real. That's real. Yeah, that's real. That's real. Wow, wow. Well, thank you, man. This is this. I, I love this. I love this. I love this. Um, stay lit. Stay lifted. Can't wait to uh, communicate again. And I'll let you know when this is posted. Ashe, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For thank sure, you. For sure. For sure. For thank sure. Thank you for being a vessel of communication. Mm. You know, appreciate that. This is Definitely. actually my first interview for the song. <laughs> oh wow okay well, let's go let's go let's yes, go let's go yes. thank so, you i'm excited yes. about that oh we're gonna keep it pushing pushing. we're gonna keep it pushing we got to keep people your message your power your knowledge your your lessons your teachings is essential and we gotta all just be within one right now so I I all right it. yes enjoy your day <laughs> <laughs>